Taiwan narrowly averted a power crisis on Monday. And Unit 8 at Tai Datan power plant malfunctioned during the peak evening hours, removing 1.1 million kilowatts of electricity from the grid. With many generators still under repair after the April 3rd earthquake, the reserve capacity dropped to a mere 3.2 percent. And this nearly triggered power rationing nationwide. But the measure was averted due to the major power users reducing their demand on the grid. Thai power workers make a risky repair, climbing up pipes for inspection. The April 3rd earthquake led to the malfunction of many power plant units. To this day, Heping power plant remains inoperative, meaning a loss of 1.3 million kilowatts for the grid. On Monday evening, a unit at Datan power plant also went offline, resulting in a loss of 1.1 million kilowatts. That took reserve capacity to just 3.2 percent during the peak evening hours, setting off an orange alert for the power supply. Taiwan was at risk of nationwide power rationing. A water pump failure caused Unit 8 at Datan Power Plant to shut down, removing 1.1 million kilowatts of electricity from the grid. It happened during the peak evening hours, that is, after about 5 p.m., when demand for electricity is at the highest. The incident caused reserve capacity to drop to 3.2 percent. TSMC has a standing agreement with Thai Power that whenever the grid is under pressure, they help out. They turned on their backup diesel generators to generate electricity for Thai Power. The peak load hit 35.27 million kilowatts Monday afternoon, a record high for mid-April. Thai Power had informed major electricity users and contracted firms of a potential need to reduce usage. When the malfunction occurred, big users cut back demand right away, and TSMC contributed nearly 300,000 kilowatts of power to the grid. Thai Power put its hydroelectric plants at full capacity and activated parallel systems to avert a crisis. It was clear that yesterday's reserve capacity was insufficient. If this had occurred in July, when it's hot and everyone has their AC on, what would have happened? And don't forget that Ma'an Shan nuclear power plant will be decommissioned in July. During the day, the plants can store energy by pumping water into the upper pools. That water can be released during the peak evening hours to quickly boost the power on the grid. We also have dynamic generation systems. According to our assessments, this year's power supply will remain within expected levels. Thai Power moved to reassure the public about the summer's power supply. But with the decommissioning of two units at Mai Liao Power Plant and the Ma'an Shan Nuclear Power Plant from July 1st, Thai Power has its work cut out.